Hey everyone, this is Scrap Computer here. This video is going to be covering clear tips for effectively going through the jungle depending upon your jungler. These tips can ensure you're safe during your clear of enough HP to gank after a clear and some literally make or break certain jungle clears like with Rengar for example. I'll get into these tips now and let's jump in. Tip number one, AoE junglers. When clearing with an AoE jungler, always auto attack the biggest creep. The reason for this is simple. Your AoE abilities damage all jungle creeps around you equally, which means that all of the small creeps, which have less HP, are going to die a lot quicker than the larger creep, with this equal damage being spread. To counteract this, we auto attack at the biggest creep in whatever camp you're doing to lower the HP along with the AoE, which means we can equate killing the big creep at, at the same time as the small creeps, or at least as close as we can. This will speed up your clear massively. Look at the difference in the speed scores. Now note that this will take, make you take a little bit more damage, which is generally around for most camps 5% more damage, but the speed of an extra about, you know, 20-30% sometimes can be, it's just totally worth it. So basically, whenever you're taking a camps and you're an amazing AoE jungler, Amumu being a really, really good example, auto attack the main creep and let the AoE kill the rest of them while you're working and mainly focusing upon the main creep. Tip number two, single target junglers. When your jungler is predominantly a single target damage dealer, you're going to want to focus the small creeps of the camp, then the big creep. As seen below, I'm focusing the small minions on one end, uh, the correct way. Then of course, focusing the big creep at the very end. Now, look below, you're going to see something very interesting. The timing is similar, but it's a HP loss, which is the main concern and the main focus point. By killing the small creeps, I'm saving myself a crap ton of HP as I'm quickly removing them as a damage source. Because they're so easy to kill, the small creeps, and they do a lot of damage, removing them early just because just to get rid of them and then focusing on the main cramp, which is the only one attacking you back, will mean you save a crap ton of HP. Uh, you're just going to take so much less damage for single single target damage dealers, any mainly the bruiser junglers, you have to do this every single time. It saves you so much HP and the speed is pretty much the same. Uh, this is literally the most important point of this video. If your jungler is mainly single target, kill the small creeps first, then kill the big creep at the absolute end. Uh, this this is literally makes or breaks camp, uh, camp dealers like Evelyn or Rengar for example. Without this tip, they can lose a lot of HP. So it's very important to keep this up. Uh, very simple, focus the, the small ones, then the big one if you're single target orientated. Tip number three, never switch attack. This one is very basic, it mainly tells you not to make a mistake. Don't ever switch attack in the jungle ever, so basically know if you're an AoE or a single target damage dealer. Kill a single creep one at a time. Don't auto attack the big Krug or as seen below auto attack one of the small raptors, then the big one, then another small one, then another different small one, then the big one. Just focus on one at a time. This is massively ineffective as it means you're throwing around your damage which means all of the creeps will live longer rather than focusing them to kill them as a damage source like with the previous point I mentioned. Um, remember, they're, if they're not dead, they're still attacking you. So focus them down, kill things one at a time, or just mainly know who you're focusing upon in one go. Never switch your focus. Go for one uh, minion at a time, basically. Tip number four, tanks should avoid the scuttle grab. First up, you can't take the scuttle on your first clear because it's squishy and you should avoid it after that unless the enemy jungler isn't taking it all, but that's a big exception. After your first clear, it's just too hard to get, but I'll get into why we should not be taking our little river friend. Um, so the main thing is the scuttle is tanky. As a camp, it's tanky. Tanks yourself don't really do too much damage, so it's going to take a long, long time to actually clear the camp, and generally it's just not worth the time investment involved, and of course the mana investment generally as well. Additionally, most tanks are AoE oriented. Amumu, Gragas, Sijuani, Nautilus, for example, are all AoE oriented. Uh, AoEers do less single target damage, and to a single target camp like the Scuttle, it's going to take a long time to kill it. Lastly, you'll be getting Cinder Hulk, which can be run away from because of its poor range, and the Scuttle is going to make it really difficult. It's going to make your life hell trying to stack that up constantly. In addition, it's not attacking you back, so getting the stacks on is really difficult. Everything about this means you should be generally avoiding the camp. Um, just overall, it's too, a little bit too hard to get. You should just avoid it. I mean, I'm not saying never get it if you're getting an objective or something, or you need the vision control, or if again, if the jungler isn't taking it, uh, it that's fine. You can get it. Just avoid it if it gets uh, mid-game, because it's going to be way too tanky for you to take. 
And that's it for the video guys, just a couple of very quick tips just to try and help these guys in your jungle clear, make sure you're healthy as possible, make sure you know all of the main prerequisites. I've seen a lot of AoE junglers killing uh, the small creeps one by one, and this was in Platinum, and I was like, ooh, probably shouldn't be doing that. And I've also seen, of course, most players just generally slamming in on the on the big creep and not killing the small ones when they're single target orientated. And so I do this when I'm a little bit lazy, but again, I digress. It's, uh, it's just really important, I thought I'd mention this, guys, I thought it would be pretty helpful. And that's it for the video, guys. If you like it, like it, dislike it, dislike it. If you like the content and you think it's really good quality, maybe learn something you can sub. If you think it's horrible and it's really lacking the quality, it's just not a good channel, you can unsub. If you're already here, guys, it's um, completely fair. Uh, I also stream at Twitch TV, guys, uh, which the link will be in the low bar. I try to bring mainly educational content. And, of course, we always have a good bit of fun. So, guys, hopefully you like that. Uh, beyond that, guys, as always, have an absolutely great day. Best of luck in the Rift. I'll see you guys next time.